last summer, you know, you listen, you fought Robinson uh, Conceição, and then you tested positive for a banned stimulant uh, before that fight. Tell me what happened there. Yeah, it was, uh, well, 2021 was a, was a great learning experience for me because it started out very high. Then out of nowhere, you know, I went extremely low. I felt like I was at my lowest when doing, to, to, due to that positive substance that came out positive. Um, we truly don't know where exactly where it comes. We send everything to a lab. Well, we have our doubts if it was a contaminated product or was it a herbal tea that we were taking because that was literally the difference, the different things that we were taking as far as any other camp. And it came out positive. I couldn't believe it. You know, it was, it was, it was something that came out of nowhere. I thought there was, it had to be some, some type of mistake because we've always been clean fighters. But as soon as we know what did it was a stimulant, as soon as it was more of a diuretic, I said, oh, it shouldn't be no big deal. But on the contrary, it became a big deal because people started seeing the positive and they immediately assumed that it's a PED. They immediately assume it's a performing enhancing drug. The, what the substance that I came positive uh, doesn't help you in any form of way of just hitting harder, being faster. You know, it doesn't help you in those type of ways that that will will actually be, be considered cheating in the sport. So being accused of uh, the, uh, of that substance well, really brought me down, really brought me down and it hurt. It really hurt because, you know, we've always been clean fighters and the fact that everybody was pointing fingers, well, I took it, took it too serious to what people thought of me and that just, that just brought me down and was, I wasn't fully concentrated on the main object, which is just to go in there and get my best like I always do.